three, two, one. You're on. All right, guys. We are live right here. Oh, sorry. Now? Yep. All right, guys. We are live right here on the Dan Romano Show at the wonderful, beautiful studio called Strong Island Television. And I am very, very excited to be here. I want to welcome everybody back to the Dan Romano Show. Uh, allow me two seconds because I got to get started here. And we have one of the most amazing nights that I ever can give you. And I'm going to be bringing on my co-host for the night, a beautiful, sexy, talented, amazing actress, model, and everything else in between. She even does soaps. We're going to talk to the beautiful one, Lucia Love, everybody. Oh, my God. Look how beautiful you are. How are you? You are you? absolutely amazing as always. Thank you. How have you been? Good. I'm so excited to be here. The return of Lucia Love, everyone. So, so what's, what's new? Uh, um, my company. I haven't seen last time. Uh, tell, tell us about Bomb the company. Bombshell Beauty by Lucia. All natural uh, soap and bath products. Um, that's amazing. And also lip and where And where can we find these, these wonderful products that you're talking about? BombshellBeautyByLucia.com. You can see all the products or you can follow the Facebook page, Bombshell Beauty by Lucia. I am so thrilled. And you you tried one of them, right? It's it, the, the vanilla. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was, They're it made was with all goat, quality. Goat's milk, olive oil, coconut. It's all natural. So all it makes your skin feel like amazing. I love it. I use it. Well, we are very, very happy about it. And uh, um, you're going into a lot of things right now, right? I hear you got some great modeling coming up. You got some movies coming up, right? <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. Isn't that, well, are you excited? A bunch of things going on. I'm very excited. I, I can't wait. A lot of stuff How do you on. feel being back on the Dan Romano? How long has it been? It was last summer. It was on Mandy Jones. Mandy it was Jones August. House. Yes. It was in August, August yeah. 6th because I August saw when you yeah. shared it. You got a yep. good brain. We were in the blackout. Remember, because we had to go to Mandy's house because of the the blackout. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. no, every nobody had power. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I told you all about my my life as a, a party party connection. Yeah, everything yeah. Throbs neck, Frank yeah. B. <laughs> Me and her grew up in the same area, same yep. people. It's like we, we were always at the same events, but we never we never knew each other. It's so weird yeah. how we were in yeah. the same place at the same time, and we never even. You know what it was? Our eyes never our eyes never crossed. That's, right. That's what it was. But now I am blessed with a beautiful friend. That's right. Beautiful, like I said, beautiful, talented, amazing. The girl is the complete package. Uh -huh. Lucia Love, I am so honored that you are my first co-host on the Dan Romano I show know. in this wonderful studio called strong island television what do you think it is i love studio? this studio i just bought by the way um they sell these really cool bracelets i just bought three bracelets i'm shopping i come here <laughs> to a show and i'm shopping i can't help it i'm that's shopping because, only. that's because this studio is quality it is these are so cool they have like little crosses um i love the crosses because i'm wearing Mom? a cross tonight so I, I maybe i gotta pick one up on the way out of here that's it you gotta go shop i'm gonna go shop <laughs> You, I, I, that's why I like not having a woman with me because when when, when a woman's with you, you know you're broke. That's and it. It's well, a bottom line. I don't know. Well, well are you ready well, to? Well, thank you for having me. I just oh. want to say that. Oh, yeah. Anytime. And you're very, like a very dear friend of mine. I, so I always I'm will so be. honored. I am honored that you are here. You took a, a, a crazy drive to come oh, on the right. Dan Romano it's show, okay. and I am very, very honored that you are here. Oh, thank you. Are you ready to yes. for our first guest? I am ready. We have a beautiful young lady coming on. She wrote a book called Chasing James. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess this up. <laughs> Gan Gandol G Gandolfini. Gandolfini. I call him Tony <laughs> in, in my world. But uh, the, the woman, uh, the woman, wrote a whole thing and we are going to a whole book about this beautiful about, about this beautiful world and it's a memoir i can't pronounce that word memoir i'm one of these dead internets but i am going to be bringing on a beautiful lady donna blues everybody donna blues hey, hello hi, donna. Donna. Hey, and donna's got the Dino energy drink with her i can't oh, believe it how are you hi. Nice you look beautiful. Hi. Hi. 
Hi, Donna. Lucia Lowe. Hi. Yes. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, my goodness. This energy drink is out of this world. I it's told you, you energy. it would be. I'm telling you. I came you. all the way from Doisy. A Jersey girl <laughs> came all the way over here. She was exhausted. I was and exhausted. now she's got all the energy oh you could ever want. I'm like, That's a far drive, too. It oh, is. Oh, it I'm in the rain like this. Yeah. And then I came here. I was so tired. And then I drank this, and I'm like... Energized. It. And it's natural. It. It's natural. It's all natural. No yeah. Chemicals? You, yeah. Yeah. It's all natural. This is amazing. Uh, I, you know, I told energy you. energy drink. Because I heard you talk about it so many times, and I'm like, I, I am. And I got to meet him the other day on really? That's Thursday. right. That's right. Him. You must. He's him. so cool. Yeah, I love wow. him. Yeah, he's one of the great guys. Wow. A beautiful man. I love man. your drink, Dino. It's excellent. Excellent. And the fact that it's natural—that's the best. I know. You never know what they put in that. That's show. Those other drinks. Of course. So, here's to you, Dino. So cool. Should I go on and see? Yes, yeah, everybody go on. Everybody who's on here, thank you for joining. I'm going to go over some names in a couple of minutes. If you're on the show, do me a favor. Please share this on your pages. Invite your friends. Share it on places and do whatever you got to do. But we are very, very happy to be talking about your memoir. Yes, a memoir. Yeah. It's a big word for a guy like me. Memoir? No, <laughs> five times no, no. no that, that, that'll be too much. <laughs> memoir. 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 Tell me what made you want to write this book what made me want to write this book? what inspired you to write a book about chasing james yeah gandolfini this is interesting actually the thing that inspired me was that <laughs> the phone ring i didn't even know i have That's a phone what here inspired me. <laughs> It maybe maybe he's calling from heaven. What is that noise? That's I had no phone. idea. No, it was the phone outside. Oh, okay. All right. It's, 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 the, spirit. Order. it's the spirits. Oh, someone's <laughs> making an order. Actually, um, the reason why I wrote it is because um, there's a lot of things in there that I feel will help a lot of people. A lot of mistakes that were made. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that I wore a lot of hats. Right. And uh, I feel if someone reads it, they'll um, feel better about certain things that they might have done and know that it doesn't define them. Because, you know, we all make mistakes in our lives. Of course. And, you know, sometimes people are made to feel like, oh, my God, you did that. And oh, it's horrible and everything like that. And sometimes you would say, I would never do that. But never say never. Right. You know, as far mm -hmm. as, you know. Sure. Because you never know what, what tomorrow is going to bring. Exactly. That's, that's good. And um, the story goes, you know, where I was out, you know. Right. And of my job. And I was recovering from, you know, something. Uh, you know, I was going through a very bad depression. And um, everyone knew, everyone loved James Gandolfini, The Sopranos, just right by the bottom being my shop. Mm -hmm. And they filmed there. They filmed at your place. At my place that I was at for 20 years. But nobody told me. Nobody took the time to give you a call. Were you on you the know. show? Were you on the show? Like, a, did they have a scene on the show? Like, when they were. Lucia Love. <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I will let you know some parts of it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm working up to that. Okay. 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 But. Uh, that was a good question. <laughs> Very good. She did her homework. She did her homework. I love it. Yes, yes. Um, anyways, they didn't tell me. So I get there and I see a picture of James Gandolfini. And, right. And I'm like, why didn't anyone call me? Anyway, long story short, somebody said, well, my brother cast for The Sopranos. I'm in this daze. I'm getting over this breakdown. Right. I was left while I was pregnant. Things were bad. I didn't think I would recover. And I just said, all right, paid this money. And it kind of, I, I grabbed on to the fact getting on, I was promised that I, if I join this agency, I said, 100%, you'll let me, you'll get me on The Sopranos. They said, we can't promise you 100. They said, 99%. If you join what? This agency, extra agency. Really? Okay. So I said, that's good odds, right? Oh, and yeah. I was just in a daze. I'm like, all right, I just took out credit cards. I didn't have money. I didn't have nothing. You probably maxed everything out. Oh, I maxed no. everything out. And if my family knew, you know, they were paying my bills. <laughs> mm. I was just, you know, I just needed something to grasp onto. Right. And I thought I got ripped off. It turns out I was in 30, 40 TV shows and movies. Wow. Yep. It was worth it. 
I'm yeah. waiting for this call. Right. So I was in I Am Legend. I oh, was wow. in Law and Order. I was in a movie with um, Robert De Niro. I was in a movie with Kevin Bacon. I like Kevin Bacon. He was in a movie called Taking Chance. Yeah. It's great. Did you see that movie? Yes, I did. It's a great movie. It was an HBO movie. And I'm like, am I really here? Especially I Am Legend. I'm in this movie with all these extras. The That's book describes cool. everything. If you want to know what it's like to be an extra, yeah. I describe meeting Robin Williams. Oh, my God. Oh, I met Robin. Aww. Robin's a beautiful man. You met him? Yes, beautiful man. Oh, my God. And know what I do? I tell him a joke. I was so nervous. I tell him a joke. And then I find out later from a comedian. Oh, no, he said, he goes, everyone tells me a joke when they see me. I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> oh. But you know what joke I told him? Mm. How do you catch a unique rabbit? How do you catch a unique rabbit? Yeah. Unique up on it. <laughs> <laughs> but he looked at he me. might use that. He might have used that one. Well, I thought I that know. was his humor, but you know, That's I don't okay. Know. I'm Robin, saying. Robin's humor sometimes went by how much. Well, I shouldn't say it, but well, I, I, I'll let him rest in peace. I love yeah. Robin Williams. He's a man. I love Robin Tremendous Williams. Talent. But you know what? In Law and Order. Talk about a treat. He was I remember the, you. I remember. That's the one where he played a... A, a psycho. Yes, yeah, so yeah. You have to see this floor in order. And he do. doesn't even have to act to do that. No. <laughs> but let me tell you, he he plays this, and I live by it, don't be a sheep, a follower. Right. You know how people, just because the doctor says this is so, that doesn't mean it, it's true. Really, yeah. Uh, and I live my life by that. Yeah. Like, you know, and all the interesting people I met, too. I met the guy from 9-11. Right. You meet so many interesting people, rich, poor, whatever. Oh. A guy from Line 11, you know how he survived? Wow. He went outside for a cigarette and they told oh, him yeah, not yeah, to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, yeah. And it saved his life. Yep. Because they said nobody outside and he went out to have a cigarette and then and it collapsed. It but when I was oh talking to him, mm -hmm. he was shaking about 9-11. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, we don't have to talk about it anymore. You know, but he says, I'll never quit smoking now. You know, I saw the article, but so many interesting. I mean, you wouldn't believe the people I met. It was that's, amazing. That's amazing that, that you were lucky because sometimes when they tell you that, they they never put you in anything. Yeah, they always true. try to scam. They That's always try absolutely. to take There's your so money. There's so many scams. Yeah, because I did that when I was younger, and and they were like asking for money, and exactly. I was like goodbye. That's why I yeah. thought I got scammed. Yeah, yeah that was great. But though. I didn't actually. I turned my phone off and. I was like, that's, I just yeah, got scared. Yeah, like, And then he's like, where were you? Where where were you? That's one of the chapters in my book. Where were you? I'm right. like, wow. He's like, I had this show for you, the Black Donnelly's. That was a show. Wow, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, cool. And he's like, Donna, I told you to keep your phone on. But I thought he was going to call me. I'm like, yeah, right, whatever. He's like, keep your phone on. So then the next thing, I, my car was in I Am Legend. It was amazing. That was the first thing I did. Uh -huh. It was like two in the morning and they, they painted my car with mud. I don't know if you've seen the movie. They have the scene where all the, you know, he wakes up and all the uh, cars are disarrayed and right. they painted in mud and everything like that. And then the car, he's in the DeLorean. It was just cool. Right. That it was just cool. the, the whole thing woke me up. It was like, what would get this girl out of her stupor, you know? Being in all these major motion pictures, it was But that's amazing, amazing. though. I mean, that's, that's We were on the set of I Am Legend, right? And the, and the director's like, all right, you have to make believe that bridge is going to blow up, you know? And we all were like, ah, you know, you have to pretend. And did you have to run? run we had to run. We had to do everything. It's amazing and guess, how what, guess who I knocked into in the movie? Will Smith. Really? Yes, because everyone's running trying to get into the movie, and he came around the car, and went, boom, right into his chest. It was meant to be. It was meant to be, but it his wife would have Did he talk to you? Because everybody says Will Smith is so nice. He nice. He's nice. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. I, I heard he wasn't nice. Him. He's a chapter in my book, actually. Okay, I gotta read. I this have book. Robin Williams is a chapter. You know Radio Man? Ever hear Radio Man? Yeah, the, the little black guy who uh, did the football. No, <laughs> isn't that him? Did the football. Is that Radio Man? <laughs> I don't know. No. Oh, all right. No, Radio right Man's a fixture around New York City. He, When I was in I Am Legend, he was a homeless man, and now he's an extra. And he carries his rickety radio around his thing, and he's in, he started doing extra films, and he made a living off of it. No, I don't and know. And he, he's, he's a well-known fixture around, but he looks just like Robin Williams. So Radio Man, you know, Robin Williams talk, used to talk to him all the time. So. I don't know how to shut that off. I'm sorry. 
Let's see. Wait, you got a little Oh, come, come closer. Oh, sure. I'm rolling off the set. Sorry. I know the chairs are. Well, the, uh, I mean, to be so, you 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 went in, you 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 joined that thing, and you went to a lot of movies. Is, now, is I was that, in a movie with John Travolta. Johnny Boy. John you know John Travolta. I, met, I I don't know him personally, but I met him a couple <laughs> times. Hello, I, I mean, Hello, goodbye. Well, let me tell you, when I was younger, I waited for him when I was a little kid because someone told me he was going to come over their house. I waited there Christmas Eve. Then on Pelham 123, I left because I was out doing not good things. Um, you? Yes. My baby girl? Oh, yes. Yes. I'm sorry. It's all right. You're entitled. But anyway, get this. And he went and talked to my friend. I came out. He says, Donna, where were you? I'm like, are you kidding me? I miss. But get this. Guess who's talking to me now on the internet? Who? Someone that says they're John Travolta. It might be. I don't know. There's a lot. I mean, I, I can't tell no, you. No, no. Yeah. He, he can't be. John only has one page on, 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 on the Facebook. Right. But it can't be him because he says, dear, and he says, people don't talk like that. So I'm like, listen. John, John is very, very soft, soft person. And I'm not saying it is or it ain't. But if it's the one where he always writes about his daughter, daughter's birthday, 21, that it's him. That's it. Because my friend William DeMeo knows him very, very well. That's what I heard. Yeah. But he he says to me, oh, I now I'm single. I want to stay single. I have no, no, you know. You don't want even the relationship? I haven't been in a long time because I'm, I'm concentrating. Einstein, On yourself. Einstein says, don't fall in love with a person, an idea. <laughs> See, I've been trying to tell my girlfriend that all the whole time. The, the focus on yourself and not me. But John Travolta call, says, I am me. And I'm like, oh, I wouldn't <laughs> mind being friends with him. So right. I'm thinking... Oh, you know, I wouldn't want to go on this plane. And I'm getting really, he called, he texts me every morning. It's not him, though. Oh, you, so I'm like, listen. Yeah, that's you are, probably, you, give yeah, me proof, that's probably give not me proof him, that it's yeah. you. He goes, I'll, I love you, Donna. I'll love you forever. You know what? Just, you know what you do? You. Tell him, scammer. tell him, tell him who's the last person you're on set. Then give me a call and I'll tell you if it's him. Tell him to call you on, 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 messen set. on Messenger so you could video. He says that's management true. won't let him. John Travolta could do whatever he, he wants. He could do it. He could do I, met, <laughs> I met John Travolta at uh, because of William DeMeo at uh, 87th Street, whatever the hell that was. Mm -hmm. And the minute John comes up to me, there's a guy who took all his time. I think he was with the It Crew. Remember the It Crew? Yeah. And the guy drew a whole beautiful picture of John. Right. So instead of me wasting my time to talk with John, I said, John, do me a favor. Sign my guy's autograph. Uh, sign my the thing that he made of you. He looks at me, he goes, like he was, he was actually surprised that I'm giving up my time to talk with him so he could go sign this guy. But the guy took like 10 days to make that portrait of him. Right. I'm like, have. I says, he put a lot more into it. I says, I'll, I'll run into another time. And John liked that. He, but he never came back to me. But he liked that. And, and I know William. William will put me on the phone with him or whatever. <laughs> William's good people. I love William DeMeo. But John Travolta, for him to stop and do that for that man, <laughs> I have nothing but he respect. He sounds like a great guy. He does. The only thing I don't like I about him is, is the Scientology. I'm trying to switch him over to. I Catholic. thought he was. I thought he was. Someone said he's out of it. I thought, oh, he's I out thought of they it. all got out of that because. I know. Like I, I seen him thing. do a movie. I seen John do a movie where he actually kissed the cross. So maybe and and. All right, we're, we're gonna, guys. Right now, we're gonna take a. a Bobby, you ready to take a break? Ready. We're gonna take commercial. a quick commercial break, and we're gonna come back. With the, the beautiful one right here, Lucia Love and Donna Blues. Take a look at, uh, at one of my commercials. You're going to fall in love. Go ahead. Take it away. If you're like me, you've tried a dozen of these bitter drinks that stay in your system for one hour, even though they promise you much more. Dino's Energy Drink, the light, crisp taste, so smooth and refreshing, loaded with vitamins and nutrients. Dino Energy Drink, imported from Italy, tastes fantastic and will give you the energy you need to get through your day. Dino's Energy Drink, let Italy show you what great taste is. I hope it is. All right, we'll figure it out. We're back. All right, we are back. I hope everybody enjoyed the Dino Luzi energy drink that we uh, commercial. I know I am because I'm feeling really like <laughs> I'm talking about a fake John Travolta that like texts me every well, day. Well, you know what? It's it's a good feeling. It, 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 if you don't know it's not him, and you and you think it is, 
it might be a positive thing. But you know what happened? Anything that, positive during COVID nineteen? I say I go. looked yes. it up, and this poor woman gave a uh, fake John Travolta all her money, and she's broke now. Oh no, no, don't oh, do that. No, Listen, don't give I'll anybody call you, money. I'll call you tomorrow no. night at about eleven o'clock at night, and you know it's me. You'll know it's me. <laughs> oh, and I, I want it. And I want it. I'll call both of you. We'll have a three way. <laughs> It's no problem for me. I'm easy. I'm easy going. But on my left, we have the beautiful one right here. Uh, oh, my God. I blanked out. Donna Blues. I almost called her Donna Blaze. Blaze. And on my right, we got Lucia Love. And right now, we are going to be pulling in a unbelievable, talented actor, good-looking guy. He's good-looking. Great guy, uh, a.k.a. from The Sopranos, Gigi. We got Hi. the awesome John Fiore. John, where are hey. you, brother? Hi, John. Hey, man. What's going on, everybody? How you making out? All right? I'm in Boston. Right looks boy. My hometown. That's where I'm at. John, you're a good-looking guy. Look at you over there. Like I'm an old bastard. I'm old. I don't want to say how old I am. Oh. I'm going to put you on the spot. How old are we talking? I can't tell you. Look, you got to look it up. All my fans will leave me. <laughs> no, he looks you so wanna, good. You wanna, no, I can't say. John, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to personally invite you right now if you want to come down to New York. Yeah. I'm going to have a 50th birthday party at a place called Silvio's in, uh, where is it, McLean? Um, uh, it's in Yonkers. It's in Yonkers. I if you know. can sit down, I want you to come down. If you can make it, I'm giving you an open invitation. Big Where is it? When, when's the birthday? May 16th. It's a Sunday night. Oh, I'm May 23rd. I'll have to bring a present. No, no, you bring yourself. <laughs> yes, I'm bringing a present. You bring yourself, my friend. All right. All right. Your birthday. Well, gotta... John, how, I got. I, I'm going to pick your brain, and then I'm going to give you over to the beautiful woman. Go ahead. Woman. Yeah. I'm, I might give you over to both women. Are you married? She. He, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Then, then I can't. Then I can't. He's I can't. Got a, he's got a beautiful. Wife. A beautiful wife. Well, beautiful that's wife. a beautiful thing. I, she's an author. She's an author. Well, well, she well, is. Do you want to put her on stage too? No, she's in the bed now. Oh, all right. All right. No, it's past her bedtime. John, when you were doing, when you were in, in the Sopranos, how, when you got that call, do you remember when you got that call to be, to be on the Sopranos? I do remember it very well. Um, <clears throat> I should give you a little prelude to, to when I went in for it, because most of these times when you go for these auditions, you have an idea of how you did. Do I get it? I feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. That day, I felt so good about it for you know a variety of reasons, and it's seldom that you leave a place to go. I think I just got this part. That's what I had in my head. I really believe and it was one of the times it came true. Now, I've had those thoughts before and it didn't happen. You know what I mean? Right. But this time it did. But I knew what I said when I left there, I went, You're gonna call me for this fucking like, I swear. <laughs> call me for this role. Right. And they, and they did. Because I can the way the things went in the room that night, that day, it felt really good. And it was pretty much like said already, you know what I mean? Weird. It was great. If you had to pick one person from The Sopranos that you could do a movie with today, who would it be? I got to put you on that spot. <laughs> one, only one. Only one. Would it be about a big girl? I mean, tell me the truth. Would it be who? He about a big girl. No, nah, I wouldn't do a one. Maybe, of them, maybe, uh... maybe he's got a preference of somebody who would want. Could be a woman. I would want to work with a woman. <laughs> Tell me, who would it be? One, just I, one, right? Me, because I was never asked to be on the Sopranos. But if you had to pick somebody, well, I have to see. It's tough for me because I heard all my friends now. I no, gotta no, say, just, just the first one that pops in your head. I gotta say Joe Ganascoli because he was Vito, and we were linked together in the Sopranos. We have a linkage within the show, and then from outside the show. So he comes to mind quick. There's other guys, of course, I can think of too. But he, he really, because I stay in touch with him, and you know, he, he's the one that found me dead on the toilet. <laughs> he's the one that was found dead on the That's not, that's oh, not the one who played a, the gay one, right? Joey? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He played the gay yeah. one? He went Joey gay. Catalano he went gay. Says hello. Joey Catalano he sends his love. He says hello. Hey, Joey, I love Joe. Yeah, he did. He, uh, believe it or not, that gentleman you just said, me and him did a movie called The One together. Yeah? Yeah, uh, it's called The One That's With Sarah Martin. Me and him didn't have the same part together. We just did the same movie together. Nice. Oh, and uh, okay. he played. He did. He was a, a tremendous actor. Right. Um, the last thing he. T the last thing he. Well, I, I don't want to say because that that that'll be wrong. But he's a very good guy. He does a lot he of is. charity work too. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I, I like him a lot. We got to be friendly at Soprano Con. We've stayed in touch, and I uh, like him a lot. 
Good guy. You know my boy William DeMail. He, yeah, I met William on the Family's Feud. But, well, I met William before, I should say. I met him on The Sopranos. I met him here and there over the years. But then down on the Family's Feud that we shot in Rhode Island, I saw him there with his son one day. Chris. Oh, we should look at a, a picture from the Family's Feud. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have one? Yeah, we have a picture. Uh, do we have a picture of the Family Feud? There's a lot of stars in there. It's written by... Yeah. Um, it's oh, there it is. All my boys right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all your guys, right? That's all your crew right there. Look, these are, these, the are, these are all my family. This I talk one, to them every this, day. This was John, how do we right? pronounce Stu's last name? Say again? Stu's last name is the writer? R Rep Logal. Rep, Rep Logal. Yeah. And Look, Bruce Socia. Bruce Socia. Mike Mata. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce Socia, yeah. And of Bruce course, you know, the rest of the gang. Look at the picture they picked of me. I had the Vogel with the mouth like this. <laughs> oh, you, you got you to gotta be blessed, my friend. God bless everything that you do, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Jay, is, um, uh, it's just good to be alive nowadays, isn't it? That's right? so true. Well, well, how's going. everybody doing with this COVID in your family? Knock on wood. Everybody's good. I got two shots now. I got I got my both shots. Oh, you got the vaccine. Everybody's doing good. I know people that have had it, but they got through it pretty good. But then I've heard of other people like we all have. Yeah. That didn't do so good. You don't know how it's going to go on you. You know what I mean? That's, what, that's what's really scary. Sick. That's what's scary. I, I think it. the older we are, the older we are, the yeah. quicker our bodies break down with this crazy disease. It's unbelievable. I think it just depends because I have. I think it. it's going to be around for a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to. Uh, I don't want to make a Democrat joke, but as long as. As long as the Democrats are going to be alive, it's always going to be thrown back on the table. Absolutely. Oh, God. You know, John. 100%. John's John's on virtual. True. Con. Oh, he's on virtual con? He's on virtual con. More virtual con. Yeah, that's going to be great. Yeah. You can go on there. It's, you can get meet and greets. and. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You didn't put your sound off? I, don't, I did. It, it I don't still goes on. I don't know. That's weird. These phones talk to themselves. <laughs> It's a great I'm app. sorry about that. It is crazy, these phones. Oh, look at this. Somebody called in from Scotland. What do they text? They're, they're in oh, I have a lot of friends from Scotland. Nice. Oh, Pauline. You know, you know something? A lot of people from Scotland talked to us at um, uh, SopranoCon. There was a whole gang of them. But strangely, they didn't know each other. Right. That guy was from Scotland. This one was this one, that one, that one. But they didn't know each other. But they all came from there. Wow. It was unbelievable, yeah. There was people at that Soprano Con from all over the world. When I tell you 15,000, 15,000 people, Egypt, Germany, Netherlands, I mean, it was unbelievable. You know? That's a beautiful thing. I mean, the technology these days is, is overwhelming. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 what do you think of this beautiful young lady's book over here? Chase uh -huh. James Ganafini. I think it's fantastic. I think it's great. Um, you know, just the title alone, I know that what Donna talked about, I've read about a little bit, the content is tremendous, but that title is so wonderful because we all love James Gandolfini, and it's a great title, and having his name, you know, there in any capacity is a great thing, you know, and, and the book is great from what I gather. I haven't read it yet, Donna, but I will. I've read excerpts of some of the stuff you've written about it, what people mm -hmm. said about it, I think it's fantastic. Absolutely. You know what someone said in a thing? They said, I think we're all chasing James Gandolfini because we had such love for him. And we're keeping, it's like keeping it's Sopranos alive, alive yeah. keeping his <clears throat> alive. And, um, you know, and of course, uh, The Many Saints of Newark is coming out. Yes. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I mean, being an ex, I'm, I'm not that Jew. I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll see it, of course. But I'm not like going crazy. You know, people think of, uh, I'm not in it. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> you belong in it. <laughs> no, I hope it's going to be great. I'm sure it's going to be great. One day I'm going to come pick you up. We're going to go eat steaks together. Oh, I like that. He'll be the line for that. Whatever David Chase does is brilliant. Uh -huh. And you know what? Everyone's comparing, you know, with um, chasing, um, not chasing, I don't even know what I'm saying. That's all right. Many Saints of Newark. How, you know, The Sopranos, they said it's the best written show on television. So everyone's like, oh, is this going to compare the many saints of Newark, whatever? How can you top the best written show on television? David Chase, I think, is just giving us a gift. You know, he doesn't have to do this. I think he's just giving us entertainment. Sometimes when you have a great movie, I'll give you an example, like The Godfather. 
I right, Godfather one, Godfather two. You 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 have to cut it off because you're only gonna you're only gonna show disrespect later on if you keep making the same shit over and over. That's my opinion. After two, no, after two, two, yeah, two, with, when two is the max. Sequels, they like Jaws fifteen. Two. Oh my God, Jaws one. I can't about fifteen. I, I oh good. No, but this is a prequel. No, I, I understand that. Jaws one I and two. You. This is That's a prequel. It. This is going to be amazing because you're going to find out why these people became. The way they were, it's going to be so interesting. I, 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 so I, think, I can go backwards a little bit. You go back, but, uh, but I'm one of these Italian guys that like to go forward. I don't like right. to go forward. But then that would be a sequel. This is a prequel. A prequel. Sequel. A prequel. Prequel. See, I'm learning. I'm, 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 I'm in between two women. We want to know why they said what they did. You know, why did they become how they became? We want to know. You want to know. You're, not, you're, you're, know. you're a big, she's a big fan of this. And I can't she's a big wait. fan. You know something? Fans like Donna, there's a lot of them that she knows. I can't get over the rabidness of the fan base at this time. It's 20 years later. It's bigger, bigger than ever. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. It's unbelievable. And with the social media, the way people get in touch, they write to me. I mean, I'm, you know, my role is whatever it was, but it's the outreach is unbelievable. And it, it's just, something I never expected. And it took a while because when the show was still on, so you get written off the show like it did, right? And the show was still unfolding week by week by week. People kind of forget about you because they're dealing with the here and now, each episode as it unfolds. But when it's all over and like the dust settles, it's kind of like a museum piece. They know every single move you make. You know what I mean? The yeah. people say stuff like, for example, Oh, I like the way you lifted your glasses up. I mean, they notice the most minute things that you don't even remember yourself. That's how fanatical the fan base is. It's amazing. Oh, you that's have to so true, though. That's Absolutely. so true. And that's Absolutely. like in, like like those movies that become like, you know, like the epic movies. Then people like they go back and they study each little scene, each oh, little yeah. scene, you know? and they're like, "Oh, wait a minute!" There, and they and they point and they out all, all the mistakes yeah. too. Oh, did it's you see? It's weird. This? Yeah, it's good. It's it's a good thing, but it's it's it's. I've never been such a rabid fan like that, that level of anything. <laughs> yeah, that? Me As a kid, I like baseball. <laughs> How bad they wanted they wanted <laughs> back. They miss it. It's yeah. the thing they about it. They should have never ended it. So dumb. No, I know. No, well, you know what it is? A lot of people, it's an escape for a lot of people. That right. I realize. A lot of people on there, believe it or not, on these sites, a lot of them were ill. A lot of them, I know yeah. my best friend had COVID. She's a nurse, and she was bad. And I know what her husband did? Okay. He was so upset, he got out the whole Sopranos thing and watched it. He told me from start to beginning. Me, when I'm having my thing, I just you go you jump into their world it's true. It's and an, it's so it's an, funny. I'm it's telling an, you, it's an, like it I was the clips. I'm like, you know, I can't get sick of this because I laugh my ass off. Mm -hmm. You got to see it from beginning to end. I've watched it. I've watched it. I, it's I, so I, good. I mean, listen, I love, I'm a, I'm a big soprano. Soprano. Yeah. The many scenes, but the first two or three, great. the first two or three series, it put you to sleep until you got to know everything. Until you got all right. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Not everything is, you know, let's say it's, some stuff was a little shaky here and there, yeah. but it's still great overall. It is overall, what it is. Overall, it was tremendous. Overall, well, it was. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And the many things mm -hmm. work are going to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go You're watch going. it. I'm, I'll go with you. We're going to go We're going to be but we have to have the lights off. Nobody can see it. <laughs> Many states of New York is going to be binge watch one. The Sopranos. Yeah. No one's going to say anything bad about that movie. No, I don't think it. Listen, I have a lot of friends in there, so I, I can't say anything. I don't want to get my ass busted by these right. people. Right. coming out. Is Everybody you knows in there. Remember? On Amazon. Say again. All your buddies are in the show, right? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm. I'm kind of. You know, I have. I, I'm in the show. Joey Cat's business. in it. I'm. Uh, who? Mm. Oh, Joey I love Joey. Joey, Joey Cat's oh, my brother. We have the best. You know Hi, Joey? Joey? You know my boy Joey? Joey Cad? Yeah. 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 Well, that's what I was saying. We met on family. We, we I met him at some Yeah, that's right. That's right. I, Joey. Joey's one of the most amazing. Let me tell you something. Me and him are doing a movie together now. Oh, I love him. I love Joey. I, yeah, love I like him. him a lot. We met on second when we met on SopranoCon and we've been families feud. I didn't get to see him then, but we stay in touch through social media. And I know I'll see him again soon, one of these days. And Artie Pasquale, too. Artie Pasquale is a gentleman. If it was Artie Pasquale, I probably wouldn't be here. Well, I'm happy. I would have got You know here. why? Because I, I called him up, and he we went out to lunch, and look at him. He, he 
did my book for me, and you know he didn't. Well, Artie Bush Wall is beautiful people like like this gentleman right here. Yeah. Joey says, That's "Love you." Got. He said, "You know what I love about soul. people like you? Your head didn't explode. You you're still a beautiful, down to earth <laughs> person, even though you're one of the most." recognizable people in this world which and you is know a beautiful what? thing not to yeah. and he's real that's what we love yeah. Oh, yeah. imagine if he wasn't real like john travolta <laughs> now, john travolta's real. no no i'm saying like i talked to him and and god forbid it wasn't really him and who would be right. here a guy with like, like a deep know? fake deep yeah. fake fake he's a yeah. fake Okay. No, deep John's, good. John's good people. No, I'm talking about yeah. my pretend. Oh no, your pretend friend. I would just eliminate him and block him. That way, you never have to worry about him no more. I tested him too with questions. You want me to slap him a little bit? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. It's easy for me. I don't know. Let's prank him. I kind of was looking forward to riding in the plane, and he had. Yeah, John. John might. John might not know how to do a plane anymore. Who the hell knows? He he had it he on his thing. Fly me to the. Oh, you sure you can sing? Yeah, as long as nobody cries, you can sing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm stuck that. over I here. I actually brother. want to do that. I what, sing? I, no, I know him. Yeah, yeah we like want to sing the guy. No, I don't know no, if he wants right to hear you. Are you a singer? Do you yeah, sing? I would love I to learn sing. how to go fly, like go on a plane. No, but and, the, you, the, 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 good, the good thing about learning to fly, you, you don't even need to speak English to pass the test. Really? That's, yeah. the, that's the scary part about this world. Uh -oh. and I think that would be amazing to be behind there and just like. You don't even need a high school diploma to get to get a pilot license. That's no, look at the terrorists. They got the, the terrorists got the license in about two weeks. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> they got a cracker jack box. How do they uh, get the license? Oh, the fuck. Yeah, see do you want? Oh, John. Oh, pennies? we got a trick, John. Can you yeah. see this? I have five pennies here for John. She's doing a penny trick. See, I she's have a trick. Her. Yeah, I just want you to observe this. Go ahead, I'm gonna move the bottles yeah. out of the way. Okay. Can you move these? <laughs> okay. You're like a gypsy. Dan? Yeah. Can you, do you smell anything there? Smell there. That penny. <laughs> don't worry, I didn't put it anywhere. He was, he Did you want, smell, you know? He doesn't want to go that close. But it's a scent. Do you see any fruits there? Fruits? Fruits. Fruits. I don't see no fruit. But it's a pear. All right. <laughs> uh oh. Do you see any reptiles there? Reptiles? No. <laughs> but it's three copperheads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you see any cars there? Cars? No, I don't see no cars. But it's four Lincolns. Ooh. Mm. Do you see any oh. naked women there? Mm mm. Not for five cents. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It, 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 depends, it depends what boy you write, sweetie. The old five penny uh, trick. The bars that you, you frequent. Oh, no, me. No. <laughs> no. Did you see? I, I went to a penny joke. You believe this? That's oh, a first, joke. You know something? That's the first penny joke I've ever seen and heard in my life. Have you ever seen a penny joke? What, where else did you get that for a nickel? <laughs> Only the best penny jokes here on uh, the Dan Romano. Yeah, yeah. And, That's you know, unbelievable. Like, oh, you see, you say, do you see any naked and men? Naked men for five cents. Now for five yes. cents. Uh, <laughs> brother, are we taking a quick break? Yep, we I, I hear it. We're, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Commercial Go ahead. Break. We'll be right back. All right. If you're like me, you've tried a dozen of these bitter drinks that stay in your system for one hour, even though they promise you much more. Dino's Energy Drink, the light, crisp taste, so smooth and refreshing, loaded with vitamins and nutrients. Dino Energy Drink, imported from Italy, tastes fantastic and will give you the energy you need to get through your day. Dino's Energy Drink, let Italy show you what great taste is. All right, we are back live with the beautiful Lucia Love to my right, Donna Blues to my left, and on screen, the great one, Mr. John Fiore, a.k.a. Gigi of The Sopranos. Now, now, uh, now John, I got to ask you a question. 
what 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 is the next step in your life? What's the next thing you're doing now? Well, well I'm actually are you working on any other movie coming out. I'm doing a movie. Uh, well, we got the Family Feud coming out soon. Uh, well, you know, a few months, whatever. That's give with, or take. with uh, Paul Bagazi. I think you got my boy Big Time Tommy in it. I don't know if Tommy didn't end up doing it. Um, Willie DeMeo's in it. Uh, all the guys yeah. And then some. Joey Katz in it. Artie. Um, so many people are in this movie. It's going to be great. Kind of an offbeat comedy with various kind of mob and you know crime factions converging and so forth. It should be pretty funny. I, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. We have the best time doing it. We really did. And when is that coming out? Uh, yeah, you know, a couple of months or so, whatever. You know what I mean? Is yeah, you know, how the film, how it goes, and the editing and getting it out. It takes a little bit. So and that's already shot and done, right? That oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, up. it's in good shape. I know they're, they're they're working away on it, and it should be fantastic. I'm looking and forward where to. Where can you see that? Amazon Prime, or is it going to be on like HBO? Or I don't know what platform ultimately they'll get it onto, but I'm sure it's going to be somewhere. That'll okay. be determined as they go forward. So. Did they have the Did they opening. have the premiere yet? They haven't no no premiere yet. It's, it's still it still in being the film, film, edited and so forth. So. Okay. I think they might I miss have going it in the movies. Down, uh, I love going to the movies. By Soprano, I I don't know. I shouldn't say. You're going to be at Soprano. The Soprano comes. What? It's in Atlantic City. Yeah, I'll be at that. It's kind of a mob slash Soprano. The whole thing with the mob people, Soprano people, kind of converging. That should be great. I'm going to be there. What's that? Is that July, Don? Yeah, it's July. I yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna try to beat it. You, know, or, you know, something with the COVID. I mean, I don't know. If, I'm, have, not, if I'm not, if I'm not doing anything, I would love to go. You should go. I know everybody there. What the hell? I might as well. Oh, it's a good time. We had the best time that week. Oh, I, I, I would, I would go there to hang out with my boy Joey. Oh. We had the booze under the table. We poured a little drink, sit there, talk to the we people. Had the booze under the so table. Funny. We ate like animals the whole weekend. It was great. You know the nicest, one of the nicest guys I've ever met from uh, from. Um, Sopranos. Oh, no, not Sopranos. The uh, the Godfather. I played poker with the old guy, uh, B uh, Bagata, Bagoda. Abe hey, Bagoda. Oh, Abe. Abe was a sweetheart. Abe Bagoda, he was great. Abe was doing a movie outside. I, I was in one of the, the biggest house. Uh, my, one of my friends owned the biggest house on City Island. And, and I look in the driveway. I'm like, what is this old guy doing in, our, in the driveway? It's Abe. So I said, Abe, I said, do, I said, do me a favor. You, you're filming a movie? He goes, I go, how much pool do you have over there? He goes, I got all the pool you want. I said, come play poker with us. I, I need more money. <laughs> and he left. And he wound up putting $50 on the table. And we started playing and we started playing poker with Abe. How many people could say that though? <laughs> Not many. He's like, You pull me off a movie to come play poker? I'm just like, who else is gonna do that to you? <laughs> you know, and but one of the most beautiful gentlemen ever. Yeah, he and seemed they to were be feeding him the line. Right? That's when I said I could be an actor. Right. Because they were giving be. every, line, every line, every line. Yeah. Right? But he, he was a great guy. Was he? Yeah, great nice. guy. Oh my gosh. I never met any actors. I only met like rock stars. Like I met Vince Seal. You got one of the biggest actors right there. No, no, you? I didn't meet him oh, in person. No. Well you, you pretend you did. Nobody knows the difference. Just tell me <laughs> tell 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 everybody he was right next to the left of you. I mean in person I met I just met like Vince Seal and, and Brett Michaels. Really? He didn't try to hit on you, Brett Michaels? Brett Michaels saved my life. What did he do? Give you mouth to mouth? No, uh, I wish. <laughs> no, you don't, because he's got a lot of bumps on his mouth. You don't want he's that. No, <laughs> he, no, I was getting crushed on the stage. Bumps I was in the front, and he pulled me up on stage with him. Oh, that's so romantic. But I got, I know, but I got thrown off. Security came and thought I was attacking him. Oh, right. that's that's security. Security. I was so off. mad. I was like, no. And then I got thrown out. Oh. I said, you don't understand. Brett pulled me up. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, look Sorry, at the video. Kid. You weren't like a groupie, <laughs> were you? <laughs> you weren't 14,000 people's uh, phone. I don't know. Probably I don't know if they did because that was when I was like, like 18. Do you <laughs> ever get starstruck, my friend? Never. No. no. Right? Never. Just, nope. Not at all. People. When I, I even when them. I was. No, nah, not never. No. When I was younger, when I was an extra, way, 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 way back when. You were an extra? Oh, 100. Yeah, we were kids, you know, a handful of times. Um, uh, Jack Nicholson, I saw him. I was like, wow, okay, that was kind of cool. But still, oh, but after you. that, once I started doing like real stuff, you know, getting hired, real lines, never. 
Which what is what advice can you give somebody who wants to be an actor or an actress? Well, that's a good question. The, but but do you what what advice do you give? Do you do you tell them to go to all the extra shoots, work for well, free? It depends on the person and what this you know their circumstances are. Some people can do some extra work and then move on from it or whatever, just to learn to see what it's like to be around it. Some people bypass that. Some people even now do a combination of both, whoever they are. Um, I would just tell people to follow the, the path where it kind of leads you, and then you make a determination what you want to do for yourself and how you want to go about it. Do you want to do this or you want to do that? I mean, right. you, make, you know, you make the move. Like me, I was coming from Boston, I had decided to go to New York to pursue my career. Like the next step, Boston is happening now. There's a lot of films here. Oh, wow. yeah, it, wasn't yeah. like that. it wasn't like that a long time ago when I started out. So you can do some stuff here in Boston, you know, this stuff, but not not the big leagues. So I said, okay, I love acting. I want to be an actor. I have to go to New York. And that's what I did then. That was the right thing for me to do at that time. You know what I mean? So. Well, that, that's good advice. Yeah. Thank Let me you. tell you, though, I see, I just started seeing the, you know, um, independent film. Yeah. You know, and like a lot of good, good work, you know. Mm. Oh yeah, and you know it's not just about money and big productions. And now since COVID, I guess they're all kind of doing that smaller productions. But I would have been watching a lot of them, and it's great work. You know, well, it's true. That's a good point, Donna. Because even like for myself, honestly, at this point, acting it's not about the money. It's not <laughs> at all. But at what point do you say, "Do I stop acting for free"? Well, you don't act for free. I wouldn't anyway. Yeah. But again, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. It depends who's doing what and what what the what the whole deal is. Right. I should clarify that, right? But overall, you don't really do it for the money anymore. Yeah, the money's good. You want to get them some money, of course. But at a certain age and a certain point in your career, like you said, there's a lot of independent stuff going around. Right. And good stuff, though. And it's good stuff to do. So, you know. You know, Jim Carrey said, and it's in my book, the first page, um, he wishes that? he can give everybody no. um, <laughs> what he has, millions of dollars. And he said to show them it's not the answer, you know, because after a while, it's not going to uh, solve your problems. It's not going to no. make you happier if it's you're not so happy within. And he no. says that to this day. And I, I live by it. I know it wouldn't make me happy. I, I know definitely. It's not going to bring yeah. people back that you've lost. It's not going That's to. So money yeah. can it's, buy not gonna fill, it's not going to fill not, the void. It's not. It's like because he saying, said himself, can't buy you love. It, <laughs> it did not make him happy. So I, I, John, can't what do you think about that expression, money can't buy you love? I think it could rent it for a little bit. <laughs> I think it can buy me a lot of stuff. I would yeah, like to have maybe. a chunk of money, but not from. But acting is too much of a grind. Yes, if it could millions of dollars fall down on my head right now, beautiful. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to interrupt you for one second. Yes. Hello, beautiful Julie Angelina. Uh, uh, Julie Angelina is, is uh, from Australia Housewives. She's a beautiful, and she's oh, going nice. to come to America to do movies. Hi, Julie, Julie, I send my love. What's up, Joey, Sal? Just giving a quick shout out to everybody. If I if I miss you, I'm sorry. What's up, Arthur? Everybody, I send my love to everybody and thank you for tuning in. We are yes. blessed right now with John Fiore, uh, aka Gigi from The Sopranos. I got my beautiful girl here, right here, beautiful Donna Blues. Everybody, I want you to if you don't if you didn't pick up a book yet, you got it. Chasing it. James Gandafini. Pick up the book. Where can we find this wonderful book? Um, Amazon. It's on um, Kindle. You can get it there. Um, you can get it on any site. You just Anywhere. Google it, and it's there. Nice. And Guys, it's if you pick up this book, not that I'm in it or anything, but I'll sign it for free. That's what <laughs> yeah. I am. Wow. And now all, you got to pick it up. And I'll yeah, take we'll, it. We'll, we also sign it. Yeah, and Lucia Love will, will, will put a kiss on it with lipstick, <laughs> and she'll put her autograph in here, and it'll be an amazing pickup. That's right. It's a nice deal. And it's going to be a movie one day. Yeah. I, I'm going to play. Gonna, am, I, am I the one that's going to play Tony? And we're all going to have parts. I think it will be me. Oh, yes. Yeah, you, John. Did you do a book signing? You should do a book signing. Yeah, yeah I don't know what you wait for. Yeah. Well, it's, it's we'll be your manager. You're going to be the manager? manager? Okay. Well, I'll, make, I'll make you no money, but I'll take it all. <laughs> My friend, I the acting world, to me, I'm new in the acting world. I love doing what I do. 
I got the honor of playing uh, in a movie called The Streets 1 and 2. I got to play Tony the Mob Boss. No. no. <laughs> That's a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> but my, my first movie ever, and they gave me something called Best Actor of the Year Award at the Corona oh, Film Festival. Beautiful. I, I, Corona, it was Corona. Corona? Yeah, and Corona then fucking B, Corona the hit, and then the B, my life Corona? went down. It, no. You were the rookie of the year. The yeah. rookie of the year you were. You won the award right out of the gate. I, and, but that's the worst thing that can happen to me because Corona hit and now I got to start over. And now, well, I, gotta, well. now I, I don't want to be in anybody's movie right now. And I'm writing my own. That's the way to go. And, and I have a great movie about mafia. But nice. when I tell you, it's not no way near the typical mafia movie. This has right. some, a lot of great people are in it. And I'm going to ask you to be in it. I would be honored to be. Well, in I'm it. not going to pay you a lot. <laughs> no. I'm joking. I'm joking. Give me a couple of energy drinks. Oh, a hamburger. Yeah. I'm good. If you if you ever try an energy drink, if this is one of the best, I'm, and I'm not and I'm not pumping. This no, is no. this is a great. Energy well, you know drink. it's good. It's natural. Dino Luzzi. All right. Not a, they're, they're actually my sponsor on the Dan Ramon. They actually that's pay good. for the show. That's how that's how amazing they are. I gotta me. try it. I gotta try that. Such a I, sweetheart. When you're in New York, when you're in Long Island, I want you to be a guest on my okay. show. No, I'd love to. Bring, bring her back, and we'll do this live. Yeah, yeah I'd let that come in. Beautiful sure. guy. Aww. You know everybody that I know. It's like I know you, but I don't know you. you right, are, exactly. Chappaquiddick. I'm watching. I'm like, oh, my God, it's John. You were great in Chappaquiddick. You oh, were thank great. thank you. I love yeah. it. It's about you know what Chappaquiddick is. Huh. Got the Kennedy thing oh, and uh, the, the, the girl that drowns and oh, I hate oh, to wow. make light of that. that. Oh, I gotta check it out. That was pretty bad. Uh, he was, the whole thing you see the sheriff and there's John and he's in the water and I'm like, oh my so god. So now I met my first my first actor. Ah. First professional man professional right there, actor. isn't he? Isn't he beautiful? Look at him. He's blushing right now. Look at him. I he's know. gorgeous. <laughs> He's gorgeous, and he's got a beautiful. Listen, if I need a scene where you gotta take wife. where you gotta take a couple of people and throw them in a wood chipper, is there any problem with this? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite activity. A, a, a gallon, a couple of gallons of bleach, and a couple of bottles of ammonia, oh, and God. a little bit of oxy wash tent. It's all gone. It's all gone. I can think of I can think of a few people I'd like to toss in a wood chipper. Well, me and you gotta have a talk because, well, we'll talk later. Oh boy! <laughs> I can't say it on it. Oh ah, yeah, I hear you. But I, I am very, very thrilled that you are with us. You're, you're a Thank great you. guy. I mean, I, I, like I said, I don't know you, but I feel that I do. If that sounds, it, it might sound a little bit corny. No, we're all my familia. You know what it is when you hang out with people from the certain area, right. certain group. Well, you all like the same people. You guys are yeah, all. Yeah, right. and I, and I would love to put you at a dinner table with us. Because you'll see, that's, cool. that's you'll what you're saying, Dan. And, 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 and that, 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 five minutes, that, uh, that, that invitation stands if you, if you can make it. Okay. Oh, you can make party. it. The invitation's there for you. Yeah. Well, that's what, one, one of the things that made The Sopranos, what you were just saying, how you felt like you know me, but you don't know me, you know. The Sopranos, you reported to the set every day. There was 30, Itali 30 Italian guys from the city like you. You know what I'm saying? So you're there. So you made friends easy. On right. that, with, with all these guys. Other shoots you go on, for example, she mentioned Chappaquiddick. I stayed in my dressing room until it was time to go do the scene. There was no camaraderie, right. no fun, no this, no that. More well, you guys right. are all from the same area. That's right. why. Right. And right. So there. Like that. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a quick story about um, William DeMeo. Yeah. Me and William, the day we met, he gives me a call. He says, Danny, he says, you got to take a day off. Make a long story short. He, pick, he, he gives me his address. I go to his house. Where does he drive me? He picks me up in a limousine. We go to see John Gotti Jr. We're sitting front row at John Gotti Jr. And we're seeing John Gotti Jr. the third fighting in the MMA world. Wow, nice. And we're sitting with John Gotti. I'm sitting with a bunch of my boys. I got his son there, uh, Chris DeMeo, William DeMeo. That's we're cool. drinking. How many people do that? No invite for nice. I, no. I was, I was I was shocked. I was shocked. I didn't like, know him yet. Yeah, I'm, I mean, but when I'm I tell you, him. when I tell you, William DeMeo is one of the most classiest, most beautiful, good guy people. I cannot. I mean, God put Fantastic. him in. Power. And Joey Catalano, that's my brother. Oh, Joey, yeah. If anybody ever messed with Joey, I would be there in thirty seconds. 
I hear you, man. The reason I'm getting there quicker is because I'm too big to run. <laughs> I can't win that quick. But, Joey's uh, a great guy. I know Joey. These too. are people in my life that I love. Right. And I don't give a shit about their money. I don't care about no. them. As long as I care about them as people. And that, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that when somebody thinks that they're bigger than me, I want them to go and continue and just go on. Right. No, I understand I'm completely. <laughs> You know, regular I mean, guy, re really regular guys, people you want to have a drink with and have something to eat with, hang out. Exactly. That's what you want to be with. You know what I mean? that, and that's the way life's supposed to life's be. Too, life's too short, then. Too short. I Bro, I, I mean, don't take this corny, but I love you. I really do. I think you're a beautiful man. And I'm Thanks. very honored you that you came crush? into my life. No, no. Uh, but I, like I am it. very honored you are in my life. I am very honored you are in my life. Oh, Lucia, you've you. been here for a while, and you know I'm very honored. <laughs> But thank you, thank you for being me. part of the show. Thank you. Thank you, you beautiful woman. Oh, you're welcome. For coming you're all welcome. the way from thank you. Bumble. Where, where the hell are you from? Uh, Jersey. Oh, yeah. you got to yeah, come yeah. over a bridge to come. Wow. I am very That bridge honest. is scary. Yeah, I, I don't drive no more. I got to get people that uh, I, I, I got to get. I, <laughs> my wife can't find out about my girlfriend, and my girlfriend can't find out about my wife. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch that. It's a complicated <laughs> issue. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> We're Tuesday night. Right. Yo, Tuesday or well, Monday nights right now. <laughs> In about an hour, it'll be Tuesday. That's right. But listen, I, I don't mean to cut it, but I, I'm out of time. I thank you from thank the you. for being on the show. You're a beautiful person, and I can't wait to meet you one on one. So nice to meet you. Same here. Thank you very much. Thanks, John, for this coming. This is okay. thank John you. Story of AKA Gigi from The Sopranos. Thank you. Uh, oh, cool. Donna Blues. From Chasing James Gattafini. Gandolfini. Yeah, Gandolfini. <laughs> you know, I never, I, I, I've been around Guineas my whole life. I never heard the last name. I've never met anybody with that name. Island accent, it's my name is Romano. You'll find 10,000 of us. That's right. Yours is easy. Mike Fiore, same thing. 100 oh, Fiore, yeah. millions. Say again? A million Fiore, too. Oh, yeah. A zillion. Well, the one that I've ever met. But <laughs> I, I'm happy that it's you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much. Oh, How much time we got left? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes? A minute. A, a minute. minute. I don't know. I don't know how to shoot this, but um, I want to thank everybody for tuning into the Dan Romano show. Oh, it was uh, our... we'll, we'll do a little cheers here. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Thank, Salud. 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 Thank God. Salud. I home. I have so much energy. Now. Nice meeting. All you can't go all. wrong with the Italians. I want everybody to follow yeah. anything that my boy John Fiore, uh, Fiore is in. You watch him. You watch uh, the Family Feud with Paul Begazi, with Johnny Boy, with Big Time Tommy. There's a bunch of other people in there. My brain's a little bit shot to the balls today. I apologize. It's to about mafias running into redneck Bigfoot hunters. Bigfoot hunters. I don't know. Uh, Listen, right? Bigfoot hunters in my world. You dig a hole. You don't have to dig six feet. Four and a half feet. The six <laughs> feet are bullshit. Four and a half feet is all you have to go. Right. It's a fact. If, they, if they're going to find you at six, they're going to find you at four and a half. That's Why true. Do the extra, why, dig the, why, why do the extra work? And the best thing is, and I'm not prejudiced, but you can always grab a couple of Mexicans by <gasps> by 7-Eleven. Uh, Where's that place? Oh Home Depot. God. And they'll dig a hole for 50 bucks. I know this for a fact. Okay. It's a good deal. Well, yeah, you can't go wrong, and they won't rat on you because they won't even—they won't even look at you. They don't even want to no. see your face. You know Nobody why? Nobody knows You're nothing. To the next job. That's what I love about hardworking people. That's true. true. I never dug a hole because it's too much work. Guys, I love you all. Love you me, are guys. absolutely perfect. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Thank, Thank you, you for being part of the Dan Romano show. You're my first show back, and you're my first show back, and. You Thank sexy you for little having thing. me on. But I am very, very happy. God bless you all. Thank, Thank you, guys. For coming in, and Thank I will see you next week on the Dan Romano Show. All right. Good Thank night, you. God bless Good you, night. Daddy. Tell your wife I said hi. I will. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Ciao.